Nearly a decade after Vision 2030 was launched, Saudi Arabia's pledge to build an AI-powered economy is taking shape. It's a very, very aggressive plan. This is Saudi manufacturer Alfanar's production site in Riyadh, where Hewlett Packard Enterprises' Saudi-made servers are being manufactured, powered by US-designed and imported AMD microchips. Available in the kingdom, they are also exported to Egypt, Jordan and the GCC. And for Saudi to have these servers available in the kingdom for its customers and for the wider region is a very important milestone. It marks a watershed moment in Saudi's bid to seize a place in the global AI race. Big gap was that there was no Saudi-made server, no Saudi-made high-tech server, and this was the ambition and the vision when we started together with HP this project. Our intent was to build a complete program, a long-term program on how we can build technologies in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia here in Riyadh with our partner Al Fanar. So in 2024, we launched the first two products and now in 2025, we're celebrating the launch of uh, the AMD servers also from the same facility. The production facility with Al Fanar can go up to 3,000 units uh, per month. And if we see the demand increase, we can definitely, working with Al Fanar, increase the capacity of the production line. The addition of other AI developments, such as applications and Arabic large language models, could contribute 12% of Saudi Arabia's total GDP by 2030, says consultancy PwC. Tech manufacturer Lenovo broke ground on its new production base in Riyadh last month. The 200,000 square meter factory will produce servers along with laptops and computers. These technologies are needed by every uh, organization and every sector, whether it's, it's in AI or whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in oil and gas. So I, it's, it's going to be more of complementing and being ready for the demand from those companies in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. American chip designer AMD and Saudi's investment fund-backed AI enterprise Humane announced they will invest up to $10 billion in the kingdom to deploy 500 megawatts of AI compute capacity. To put that in context, current data center capacity is 350 megawatts, relatively low compared to European countries. We're, you know, doubling down our investment. We've established an office in, in, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We're hiring a number of people. Humane has already broken ground on two data centers, Riyadh and Dammam, expected to open next year. And it announced its own AI large language model, similar to ChatGPT, but in Arabic. Humane in particular is working very, very closely with us to build a data center capacity um, that will scale up significantly over the next few years um, to service, first, the demand that is coming from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, second, the regional demand, and third, the global demand that is um, rerouted, you know, and, and the global demand in, in general. This is just the start, though. What Humane will need is silicon diversity. Different chips for different functions and tools, like smartphones, VR devices or autonomous vehicles. The aim is for Saudi-made servers to run multiple types of chips, such as powering large language models to gain competitive advantages. Humane in particular is working on a number of use cases and hence they need to start thinking about how do they diversify the silicon aspects and the silicon approach in terms of what are the technologies being adopted, right? But obstacles remain, such as data center energy consumption and supply chain disruption. To be honest, it's not an easy journey at all. Training the talent, setting up the infrastructure and getting technology partners who are willing to localize. These are the challenges 